All right, folks, we are just a few short days away from Halloween Horror Nights 33 beginning. We know all of our haunted houses. We know all of our scare zones. We know all of our live entertainment. And now we know all of the themed food and beverages coming to this year's event. Today, as I'm recording this Monday, August 26th, Universal has given us a look into all the different themed food items coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year. And in this video, I'm gonna break down each of the items, go booth by booth, and talk about what they're going to be serving there. Now, just something to note, if you're interested in a specific food booth, I will have timestamps in the description down below if you want to jump around a bit. Also in the description, I will have a link to the full menu on Universal Orlando's website if you want to check it out. But anyways, we have a lot to talk about. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's just jump right into all the food and drink coming to Halloween Horror Nights 33. Now, I think one of the coolest things when it comes to the food at HHN is how they tie it into the haunted houses at any given event. This year, 9 out of the 10 haunted houses have themed food booths across the park. They also have some more familiar options like Twisted Taters and Pizza Fries, which we'll talk about a bit later, and a few standard bars that each serve their own drinks but are really centered towards alcohol. That being said, the way we're going to do this is we're going to jump into those nine food booths first, and then talk about the more generic food items and alcohol towards the end. Jumping right in, we're going to talk about the food booth theme to A Quiet Place, which is located in the Sting Alley section of the park. Here, you're going to be able to get the Abbott's Farm Corn Chowder for $9. This is a creamy stew with shrimp, corn, and vegetables, and because it has shrimp in it, it does contain shellfish. We have Millbrook's Baked Beans, also for $9. These are quietly cooked baked beans with mashed potatoes, cheddar cheese, and a cornbread muffin. And for dessert, we have the Wooden Board Eclair for $7. This is a spicy dark chocolate cream filled eclair dipped in chocolate ganache with a bloody chocolate plank. And if this item looks familiar, it is directly referencing the scene in the first Quiet Place film involving a nail in a floorboard. As for the signature alcoholic beverage here, we have Raining Blood. This is Old Forester Bourbon, Brovo Spirits Lucky Falernum, Decriper Creme de Cassi, Blackberry Syrup, Lemon Juice, and a hint of smoked sea salt. Also, I may butcher some pronunciations, I apologize. The coolest thing about this drink though is that you have the option to purchase it in a souvenir light bulb cup. Now when it comes to the mixed drinks at Halloween Horror Nights, the prices do vary. For single serves and refills, they're typically around that 13 to 13.50 range. And if you were to purchase it with a souvenir cup like a blinky cup or the light bulb here, it's going to cost you $17.50. Now from the Quiet Place food booth in Sting Alley, we move deeper into New York to the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire booth. This is located on Park Avenue right across from Revenge of the Mummy. Here you're going to be able to get Slimer's Korean Corn Dog for $12. This is described as a Korean cheese dog with Fritos, coated with Cheetos powder, ghost pepper spice, sage derby cheese, and mozzarella. Also for $12, you're going to be able to get the Frozen Death Chill. This is a Korean corn dog dipped mint cheesecake with bugles and glitter. And for dessert, you're going to be able to get the Mini Stay Puffed S'more for $7. This is basically a s'more, but the marshmallow is in the shape of the Mini Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Moving down to the beverages, we have one alcoholic beverage and one non-alcoholic beverage. When it comes to alcohol, you can get the Class 5 Concoction for $15. This is New Amsterdam Vodka, St. Germain Elderflower Liqueur, Kiwi Syrup, Honeydew Melon Syrup, Lime Juice, Vanilla Bean Essence, and Fluffed Marshmallow Topping. And for those who aren't interested in the alcoholic option, we have Garaka's Icy Breath for $8.50. This is Honeydew Syrup, Lime Juice, Blue Curacao, Elderflower Syrup, and Fluffed Marshmallow. Moving across the way to the Music Plaza stage area, we reach the food booth themed to Insane the further. Here you're going to be able to get eggs in the further for $11.99. This is a jalapeno brioche egg in the hole with shakshuka and feta cheese. You're also going to be able to get the red door for $9.50. This is simply a potato and onion filled hand pie that looks like the red door. Finally, for dessert, you're going to be able to get the last key pop for $6.99. This is a red velvet cake pop with a chocolate key. Like Ghostbusters, Insidious has both an alcoholic beverage and a non-alcoholic beverage. For the alcoholic option, we have the Veil of Shadows. This is White Claw Black Cherry Vodka, the Kriper Cream de Cassi, Blackberry Syrup, Pineapple Juice, Sour Mix, and a Black Licorice Candy Veil. And for the non-alcoholic option, we have Beyond the Veil for $8.50. This has Pineapple Juice, Citrus Sour Mix, 
blackberry syrup, and a black licorice candy veil. Moving to the Gramercy Park area across from Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon, we have a FUBU theme to Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. We have the In the Fog Fish and Chips for $16.99. These are crispy beer battered cod nuggets with malt vinegar aioli and pub fries. We also have the Forbidden Falafel for $10.99. This is a crispy falafel with tomato, cucumber salad, and tzatziki inside a warm pita. This also contains tree nuts. Finally, for dessert, we have the Bride's Cake for $6.99. This is a chocolate coated three tier vanilla cake with raspberry jam. Here we only have a single alcoholic beverage, and it is the Sarcophagus Spice Cider. This here has Cuervo Tradicional Blanco Tequila, New Amsterdam Vodka, Liquid Alchemist Tamarindo Syrup, Lime, and Orange Juices. Moving all the way to the back of the park next to the Animal Actors Theater, we have a food booth theme to Slaughter Cinema 2. Here you can get the Summer Camp Dog for $10.50. This is a deep fried all beef Nathan's hot dog topped with Tostitos Nacho Cheese, Baked Beans, Pepper Relish, and Doritos. Crumble. We also have the Ropa Vieja Walking Taco for $13.99. This has Doritos, Ropa Vieja, Salsa Roja, Lettuce, Sour Cream, and Monterey Jack Cheese. We also have the Vegan Walking Taco, also for $13.99. This has Fritos, Vegan Chili, Vegan Sour Cream, Lettuce, Diablo Sauce, and Vegan Cheddar Cheese. This also contains tree nuts. We have the Rocks from Hell for $7.50. These are crispy jalapeno and cheddar cheese stuffed lumps of coal. Finally, we have the Cinema Popcorn for $6.69 and this is Flamin' Hot Cheetos flavored popcorn, also contains tree nuts. We have one single alcoholic beverage here, the Shirley Black. This has Cathead Vodka Raspberry, Rothman and Winter Orchard Cherry Liqueur, Tart Cherry Syrup, Lemon Juice, Blueberry Popping Boba, and Sprite. Moving back up to the Hollywood area, specifically Cafe La Bamba, we have a food booth theme to Monstros the Monsters of Latin America. Here you're gonna be able to get the Heartbeat Tostada for $7.50. This is a red beet tartar with hummus, vegan feta, and watercress on a crispy tortilla. Also contains tree nuts. We have the Spinal Colum Pinchos for $10.99. These are just grilled chicken tenders with red chimichurri. We have the Pork Carniceria for $8.99. This is slow roasted mojo pork, mole sauce, and a tortilla. Also contains contains tree nuts. And finally for dessert we have the chocolate tres leches for $5.99. This is a milk soaked chocolate cake with whipped topping and canela. We also have one alcoholic beverage here, the Depredadora. This has misguided spirits, silver rum, capoletti mazura aperitivo, mango syrup, pineapple and lime juices, disco inferno bitters, and pomegranate seeds. Moving over to the San Francisco area, we have a food booth themed to Major Sweets Candy Factory. Here we have the African Lentil and Potato Sambusa Coffin for $8.99. These are African spice lentils and potatoes entombed in a vegan pie dough. We also have the poison apple for $6.50. This is a caramel mousse with an apple filling and streusel cake. This also contains tree nuts. Finally, we have the Cyclops cup for $5.50. This is a frozen peanut butter cup with candy eyeball. Obviously, it contains peanuts. We also have one non-alcoholic beverage for Major Sweets. This is the Sour Cherry Lemonade Boba for $12.25. This is popping lychee boba with sour cherry, twisted gummies, sprinkles topped with whipped topping, and Sprite. Moving back to the World Expo area on the bridge between London and Springfield, we have a food booth theme to Goblin's Feast. Here you're gonna be able to get the Harissa Barbecue Turkey Wing for $6.99. This is a crispy turkey wing coated with a spicy Harissa barbecue sauce. We also have the Pumpkin Guts for $10.50. These are butternut squash and zucchini noodles with pumpkin seeds and vegan butter inside an acorn squash. This also contains peanuts. Finally, for dessert, we have the Goblin Pie for $5.99. This is a baked mini apple pie with cinnamon sugar and a bloody raspberry jam. Finally, just outside of Springfield, we have a food booth theme to Triplets of Terror. Here you're gonna be able to get the Say Cheeseburger for $9.99. This is an all beef patty on a cheese bun with American cheese, white cheddar, lettuce, tomato, red onion, and pickle aioli. We also have the bloody goodie bag for $9.99. These are crispy chicken chunks with fries, pepper onion mix, and a bloody good sauce. This also contains peanuts. And finally, for dessert, we have the Slash Sibling Sweet Sampler for $8.50. This is a bubblegum mousse balloon, funfetti cupcake, and chocolate cheesecake cone trio. And as far as alcohol is concerned, we have three signature drinks here. We have the Three Daughters Brewing Awake Coffee Blonde. We have the Three Daughters Brewing Florida Orange IPA. And we have the Three Daughters Brewing Rod Bender Amber Ale. 
All three of these can be purchased separately, but there's also a flight available for $13. Now that's it when it comes to specific food items, but we do have pizza fries and twisted taters returning this year once again. I couldn't find any specifics on the website, but we do know that DreamWorks Imagination Cafe, formerly Kids Own Pizza, where pizza fries used to be sold, will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. So I assume you could pick up your pizza fries there in the old location or in the Louis restaurant in New York. As far as Twisted Taters go, they have a Twisted Tater themed food booth right next to the Universal Monsters one, and they're gonna be serving three types of Twisted Taters, sour cream and chives, garlic parmesan, or just the classic seasoning salt, and these are gonna go for $9.99. Something I noticed this year though, is that there are a lot of signature drinks, plenty of drinks found at different bars across the park. So we're gonna do an alcoholic mixed drink speed round. I'm gonna talk about each drink and where they can be found. First up, we have Ghoul Juice. This can be found at pretty much every single generic Halloween Horror Nights bar in the park. This is Myers Dark Rum, Bulls Cherry Brandy, Simple Syrup, Mango Nectar, Lime Juice, Dale DeGroff's Pimento Bitters, and Peychaud's Bitters. Next up, we have the Surreal Soda, which is themed after one of our event icons and available at the Transformers Fanta Bar and Lombard's Fanta Bar. This is Tito's Vodka, Fanta Orange, Sprite, and Blue Raspberry Syrup. This can also be made into a mocktail for $8.50. Along with Surreal comes Sinister, and we have the Sinister Spritz, available at the Lombard's Fanta Bar and Fear Factor Fanta Bar. This is New Amsterdam Vodka, Aperol Aperitivo, and Fanta Orange. Otis is another new fan favorite character coming to this year's event, and he has his own drink with the Eye of Otis. This is available at the Fanta's Bridge Bar on that bridge between Diagon Alley and Springfield next to the Goblin's Feast booth. And this has New Amsterdam Gin, Lemon Juice, Lychee Syrup, Prickly Pear Syrup, Tonic, Sprite, and it's topped with a Lychee Blueberry Eye. This can also be made into a mocktail for $8.50. Next up, we have the Dead Meridian, which is available at the Transformers Fanta Bar. This has Cuervo Silver Tequila, Chipotle Pineapple Syrup, Basil Essence, and Fanta Orange, garnished with a Pineapple Wedge. This can also be made into a mocktail for $8.50. Also at the Transformers Fanta Bar, we have the Creepy Cola. This is Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Whiskey, Coca-Cola Classic, Black Cherry Puree, Stone Fruit Syrup, and Gummy Creepy Crawlers. This too can be made into a mocktail for $8.50. Over at the Lombard's Fanta Bar in the San Francisco area, we have the Black Cat's Reprieve. This is Bacardi Superior Rum, Lime Juice, Watermelon Syrup, Simple Syrup, and Fanta Pineapple. This too can be made into a mocktail for $8.50. Next up at the Fanta Bridge Bar next to the Goblin's Feast food booth, we have the Soured Sunshine. This is Old Forester Bourbon, Lemon Juice, Simple Syrup, and Fanta Orange, garnished with a lemon wedge. Over at the Fanta Fear Factor Bar next to Nightmare Fuel Nocturnal Circus, we have the Fanta Rita. This is Cuervo Silver Tequila, Lime Juice, Simple Syrup, and Fanta Orange. Finally, we end at the Battery Park Bar, aka the HHN Bar. Here we have the Murderita, which is Cuervo Tequila, the Kuiper Triple Sec, Lime Juice, Agave Nectar, and a Hint of Salt. And finally, we have the Quick to Die Margarita, which has Cuervo Tequila, Casadores Cafe, JF Hayden's Espresso Liqueur, Lime Juice, and Sugar. And that's it when it comes to the food and drink at Halloween Horror Nights for the 2024 season. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I know it was a lot of information I just threw at you, but I wanted to make this one for those who were interested in the food offerings this year, whether you're going for the first time or you've been before and you just want to see what's new this year. Food has become such an important part of the event in recent years, and honestly, this lineup sounds pretty good. Nothing truly mind-blowing, but I'm happy that there's at least like one food item at every single food booth that I'm interested in trying. I do want to try some food during opening weekend to see how it is and also give a review for you all. So let me know down in the comments below, what should I try? What sounds interesting? If I can make it happen, I'll make it happen. Also just generally drop it down in the comments below. What excites you the most out of the food and beverages that I've talked about today? Are there any specific must try items? Are there items you're like, no, I'm definitely staying away from that. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like videos about Halloween Horror Nights of the past, present and future coverage of this year's event as it comes be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel it really means a lot let me know you like videos like this one and you want me to make more of them i of course want to thank y'all for watching this video reminder halloween horror nights starts this week and I'll of course see you in the next one but until then stay spooky and take care everybody